It's time for Access the Experts from the University of Nebraska at Omaha with your host, Brandon Aximit. Hello and welcome to another edition of Access the Experts on News Channel Nebraska, where every Tuesday and Thursday, University of Nebraska at Omaha faculty members answer today's questions facing our state. Now today we have the pleasure of hearing from Dr. Becky Ludi, who is an associate professor at UNO's Aviation Institute. So Dr. Ludi, today's question is, how big of an impact did the COVID-19 pandemic have on the airline industry and how will air travel change because of it? Thank you, Brandon. I wanna talk a little bit about the impact of COVID-19 on air travel and the aviation industry. We know it's been a really rough time for the airlines, particularly the passenger carrying airlines. In fact, the International Air Transport Association has estimated that the global losses for the airlines for 2020 will be $118 billion. But there's a lot of positive signs on the strength of the industry building back. For example, the Boeing forecast for new aircraft and new flight crews are very strong over the next 20 years. Also, we have two new airlines starting in the United States in the spring. So we'll see two new Breeze and Avalo airlines that will be launching in the next few months. And the industry is hiring in many areas. Also, how we travel has changed, of course. We now wear masks in the airport and in the airplanes. Um, we also now have for example, the IATA Digital Health Passport app. So this is a new development. It's an app that's been prepared and has been used in many parts of the world where you will actually be able to easily identify the travel restrictions at your destination. And you will be able to upload your COVID-19 test results and even your vaccination information. So this is one of the new developments that we're seeing um, and in one of the areas we've learned from in the COVID environments. We also, though, really just need to be smart, well-informed travelers. We need to know the restrictions ahead of time at our destination if there are some COVID-19 restrictions. We need to wear the mask. Um, we need to be aware of our surroundings. So for example, I've traveled a fair amount in the last few months. Um, and when I do so, when you board the airplane, the airlines will generally give you an antibacterial wipe, but bring some with you in case they don't. Um, and I go in and I wipe down everything, the seat belt buckles, the armrests, the tray table, the overhead panel, all of it, before I even settle in. Another tip to consider is that if you're gonna travel at all in the next few years, and I really hope you do, uh, recommend that you look into joining TSA PreCheck. That is an uh, option for you that you can join where you can go into a line at security through TSA that moves a little faster, less crowded, so it's a better opportunity for social distancing, and you have less contact with the bins and other surfaces as you go through the security line because you're not having to take everything out of your bags. So that's another consideration as well. Overall, I'm very excited about the future of the aviation industry. We are building back and when all indications are, we'll build back very strong and even faster than some people had forecasted. What that means is we're gonna need a well-trained, strong, diverse workforce to fill the needs for the future of the aviation industry. We can help with that at the University of Nebraska at Omaha. At the Aviation Institute, we have three degree programs, professional flight, aviation administration, and UAS or drones. So for more information about those programs, I would refer you to the Aviation Institute website at unomaha.edu. Thanks, Brandon. Access the experts presented by the University of Nebraska at Omaha. If you have questions, submit them on our website. Then join us every Tuesday and Thursdays at 6.46 a.m. and p.m. while we answer your questions.